This next one is fun because we're kind of going through some of it right now, uh, but it has to do with property takeovers. So obviously when you buy an asset, there's kind of a takeover phase, right? There's a lot of stuff that unless you've gone through that process before, you wouldn't really even think about. Like all the way down to calling the electrical service and getting everything moved into your name. I mean, that's kind of obvious, right? You've got to shift the utilities over, but there's a lot of little things like that you don't think about. So we are pretty adamant about not taking over properties with tenants in place unless we are buying the asset for those tenants, right? So sometimes if you're buying a triple net lease or you're buying a shopping center or something like that, you are buying the asset for the income it produces, which comes with tenants, right? So you're buying the existing tenants. And this office building that we were sitting in now, literally the same room, uh, the previous owner had a maintenance guy that lived on site, which for a 28,000 square foot office building is not normal. For any size office building is not normal, but this building's only three stories, it's tiny. So the guy's living in this office and uh, you know, that's fine. We're having to deal with a bunch of weird stuff. Like he keeps smoking in his house and it's disrupting the tenants. Uh, it's not really a very pleasant situation because every time we walked into the building, it, it just smelled like a straight up ashtray, which is so gross to me. After we did the takeover for the building, we said, hey, uh, I can't even remember the guy's name. We no longer need your services. Uh, you know, we'll give you a few weeks to move out. He'd already been prepped uh, by the previous seller that of course he would have to move out. So he was out within a week or two um, of our taking over the building and we get into the space and it's just an absolute wreck. I mean, the floors were covered in just stuff, like dirt, like they just hadn't been taken care of it for a while. They kind of left their pseudo kitchen and some food. So I, I had to get a crew in here to just completely scrub everything down because also it smelled like cigarettes. You think about these drop ceilings are basically like collectors for smells. So of course they just absorb all of that cigarette smoke. And uh, you know, I get a call from one of the guys that's cleaning out the space for us and uh, which is a call I never thought that I would get ever. He's like, hey boss, uh, did you know that they were going to the bathroom in the closet? And uh, I was like, I'm sorry. I uh, don't think I've had my coffee this morning. What did you just say to me? He said, yeah, they were going to the bathroom in buckets in the closet. Which to me was just like, one, absolutely repulsive. Two, kind of funny, like what the hell is going on? Three, the bathroom is right over there. It's like two doors down. So I don't know if it was laziness or what, but uh, yeah, we had to dispose of, I guess you'd call it hazardous waste <laughs> in an office building.